Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, let's take a look at what is inside of this Lenovo desktop. Okay, so this is the front and let me turn it on the side. So if you take a look at the bottom of your side screen here, it says Lenovo Legion T5. And the machine type is 90NC. I got to apologize in the angle of the camera. This is the best I could do to film straight down. Okay, so let's take a look at what is inside of the computer. And we're going to talk about what are the things that we can do to maybe upgrade the M.2 drive or maybe change the power supply, add the RAM, things like that. So we'll go through step by step what I see and I'll tell you what you can do to upgrade. All right, so if you have any question, do not forget to comment below. I do read your comment and um, feel free to, to ask me any questions. All right, so the first thing you like to do is to remove the side panel. So remove the two screws on the side. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver and just remove the two screws. Okay, actually it's on the other side here. Apologize, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, there you go. So remove the two screws. So there are actually four screws, two on one side and two on the back on the other side. And to get to the computer, you technically need to remove the one that is exposing the motherboard, right? So remove this side panel here. All right, once you have removed, let's take a, take a quick walk tour around what is happening here so this is your exhaust fan and uh, so this is your exhaust fan the exhaust fan is the one that exhausts all the hot air to your back this is your cpu and the heat sink it blows the heat downwards to the heat sink here you have four ram slot one two three and four currently is running on two rams right and it looks like somebody may have upgraded this third-party RAM, the Crosshair RAM, okay? And this is your graphics card. This is GTX 1650. And this is your M.2 drive, which is contain your, uh, all your information. And you have one hard drive right here, which is the uh, secondary drive. This is your power supply, your Wi-Fi card, and two of the intake fan coming from the front. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to go ahead then and, and remove the graphics card. Okay, once I remove that panel, disconnect the six pin power connector. And let's go ahead and press this little guy. Push it down. There's a little clipper. And once you have that uh, clipper, this is what I was talking about. Once you push it down, then you can remove the... Uh, the uh, the graphics card all right so let's talk about the graphics card this is 1650 gtx if you need to upgrade to a better graphics card you can do that by simply buying another better graphics card now in terms of the power you may have to make sure that uh, you have enough power to power the newer graphics card so this power supply here allows you to maybe upgrade to a six pin and an eight pin connector power graphics card. You see that? So technically you can add additional, a powerful graphics card maybe that requires eight pin and an eight pin power. Okay, six pin, eight pin, six and six, eight and eight, up to you, your choice. Now let's talk about the RAM. So the RAM uh, technically is DDR4 RAM. As you can see that it says DDR4 RAM. Okay, this is the uh, 8 gigabytes. So I think the original comes with 8 gigabytes PC4. PC4 stands for DDR4. Um, so this is 8 gigabytes. And you can upgrade to 
8888 up to 32 gigs of RAM okay so pretty much is simple install make sure you have the align the RAM aligned in the center not really the center but with the uh, with the line of this this here the RAM slot and same thing for the third party of the third party RAM oh if you're interested to um if you're interested to where to buy the RAM from or the hard drive I'll link them in the description below I usually get all my parts through Amazon um, Prime member it ships in about two days two to three days so it's a fast shipping great price if you're interested check out the link in the description below that's where I get all the replacement parts from alright so the next step I like to talk about is your M.2 drive this is your M.2 remove that one screw slide it to your left and this runs on 256 gigabytes okay I know it's hard for you to see the glare so this is 256 gigabytes of RAM uh, Western Digital if you want to upgrade to a, a larger RAM what you can do is to buy yourself a USB adapter like this one here okay and you can clone it to a new M.2 drive if you prefer so if you get yourself a one terabyte or larger and you try to clone whatever you have from here the original over to this one um, check out my other video I link them in the description below show you how to clone from one drive to the other drive and yeah so that would be uh, something you you would like to consider okay so let's put that on the side in fact we should put it back together okay to install is pretty simple slide it in at 45 degree angle make sure it's all the way in get your screw and just put it back all right so the um the fan is pretty straightforward you remove the front panel here you can just replace the fan the intake fan if you prefer uh, if you think like okay if you prefer to install the uh, intake fan you can just remove the front panel and then get your screwdriver remove the four screws and the fan will just pop pops right straight out okay same thing for the uh, the back fan here if that's what you like to do now let's talk about the power supply so this is your power supply if your power supply is burnout then you technically need to change the power supply uh, just disconnect all the cables right here so this is a pin power supply this is the 24 pin power supply remove them and disconnect all this there you have it I know I don't need to change the power supply but I like to walk you through the process on how to do that um, oh yeah so this is your another slot here so you can actually add additional hard drive this is the 2.5 inch hard drive you can add the solid state drive if you want add yourself a solid state drive um, or this is the regular hard drive which is the 3.5 inch hard drive okay so you can change that one as well all right, so that's pretty much it. I hope the video is helpful to you. And if it is, uh, well, please give me a like and subscribe, okay? What else you like to talk about? Mm, we talk about the graphics card here. We talk about the RAM. Oh, this is your Wi-Fi card. So if your Wi-Fi is broken or the Bluetooth, you need to change this one out, okay? It's very straightforward remove that one screw and this wi-fi card will just pop straight up this is your cmos battery you want to reset the uh, the bios you need to remove the cmos battery and then and one thing i like to do is to ask you to click the like and subscribe i hope the video is helpful to you um and if you have any question comment below i'll read your comment and try to answer those questions 
Alright, thanks for watching. I wish you have a nice day. Bye now.